guys, I'm super excited about today's video because I'm gonna be showing you some delicious, very, very, very easy recipes that you can make using food waste. Globally, one third of all food produced goes to waste. That's pretty crazy. Even when you're cooking food, say cauliflower and broccoli or kale, you have leftover parts that you just put in the garbage instead of actually consuming and eating. And then it ends up in the landfill, which is really bad for the environment. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can utilize your food scraps so you can save money, help the environment, and of course get way more nutrition out of the food that you consume. This video is sponsored by Pompeian. Pompeian, I'm sure you guys already know, makes really delicious high quality oil and vinegars. We are going to be using the robust extra virgin olive oil, which I use all the time, and also the organic red wine vinegar. Keep watching, you'll see how I utilize these things along with some wild, unexpected food scraps. One of the easiest things to do with food scraps is to make a vegetable broth. Save scraps from onions, celery, and mushrooms in your freezer and simply boil them in a big pot with several cups of water to make a tasty broth. I'm also adding bay leaf for extra flavor. Simmer for 30 minutes and then let it cool to room temperature before straining. Store it in the fridge for up to five days or freeze it. Okay, so you got a lot more nutrition and flavor out of all these food scraps, but after this point, there's not much you can do with it, but do not put it in the garbage. Put it in your compost bin. Whether you live in a big city, in the, in the country, in the suburbs, you can be composting your food. I live in a little apartment. I have a compost bin outside of our house and we're just gonna put this in the compost. And in the compost bin, it's going to break down into soil. I don't throw away any of our food scraps in the regular garbage because again, that just ends up in the landfill where it's gonna emit methane gas and all sorts of bad things. But if you put it in the compost bin, it literally is going to break down to soil that you can use in your gardening, with your plants. It helps enrich the soil around the compost bin. And it's just mind blowing to see how much garbage you can put in a compost bin and how quickly it breaks down to pretty much nothing, just dirt. So compost this stuff now that you've gotten all the nutrition out of it. And remember to, now that you've made your broth, start collecting food scraps again so that next time you need your, your broth, you can make it yourself at home. Now let's make carrot top pesto. After rinsing the greens and cutting out some of the non-leafy parts of the stems, throw them in a food processor with toasted pumpkin seeds, a clove of garlic, salt, lemon juice, and Pompeian Robust Extra Virgin Olive Oil. A little bit of blending and you've got a delicious pesto. It's a great dip and it's so tasty on pasta too. All right, so my pesto is complete and I love making this. I'm just gonna eat it with a little cracker, but you can of course put it on pasta, you can put it on pizza, you can put it in your salads, you can put it on your Buddha bowls, you can do anything with it really. I also like to freeze some of it um, just because of course, if I don't have any pesto greens lying about and I wanna make a quick pasta or something, they're in the freezer, I can thaw them out by the end of the day. I got pesto, it's very good. I hope this recipe inspires you to never throw away your carrot tops because now you know how delicious they are. They're so different from carrots or really any other green or herb. They're super unique. And of course they're very nutritious as well. So why are you throwing it away when you can easily make a pesto? Oh, and go to my blog post for the full recipe for this, plus more photos and more ideas for how you can use it. Yes, even kale, broccoli, and cauliflower stems can be put to good use. Finely chop kale stems and grate the broccoli and cauliflower stems. 
For the dressing, mix maple syrup, mustard, Pompeian organic red wine vinegar, fresh black pepper, salt, and the robust extra virgin olive oil from Pompeian. Pour this tasty dressing over your stems and stir to make sure it's all well coated. This is a perfect side dish for these cauliflower tacos that I made. Instead of throwing away the stems from all the cauliflower I used, I get way more bang for my buck and even more nutrition and flavor. Lately I've really liked salads and crunchy things, so this slaw is absolutely perfect for that craving. You can serve it along with tacos or beans or literally anything. It's just a really nice way to utilize the stems and also get more nutrition and more crunch out of all of your broccoli and your cauliflower and your cruciferous vegetables. Very good. And it's so easy. I use this organic red wine vinegar from Pompeian, but any type of vinegar, you can just swap those out. But this happens to be my favorite. Okay, now we'll use apple and pear scraps to make a yummy syrup. Peels and cores are great for this. I'm gonna throw in a little orange peel too. In a pot, combine your fruit scraps with brown sugar, a cinnamon stick, some cardamom seeds, and water. Bring it to a boil and then simmer on low heat for about 15 minutes with the lid on. Strain out the solids, then pour the liquid back into the pot and simmer to reduce until it's nice and thick. The syrup will get even thicker as it cools. It's a great topping for waffles or ice cream and it's also super yummy on porridge or in tea. So now you do have a little bit more scraps left, just like with that um, vegetable broth. But I gotta say, I really like to eat the skins from the apple now that they are like full of flavor and spice and sugar. So you can eat these like, straight up. Um, or of course you could like add them to pancakes if you don't just wanna be over top and just eat them like I do. But, mm, it's really good. The rest of this, put in your compost bin. I hope this video inspires you guys to utilize your food scraps as much and as often as you possibly can. Please don't put them in the garbage, put them in the compost, start a compost bin, it's super, super easy to do. You can have a little one, you can have a big one. You could just drop off your food scraps at a compost collection, that's easy too. I, I used to do that in New York City before I actually had space outside to do my own compost bin. And at the very least, make sure you're utilizing your food scraps to make simple, simple things like your vegetable broth and syrups and things like that. There's so many things you can do with, with food scraps. So if you have other ideas for how we can be taking advantage of that and helping to make the world a better place, let us know in the comment section below. And thank you to Pompeian for sponsoring this video. You guys can find Pompeian all over the place. They're at all the grocery stores. Their stuff is really delicious. And I hope you'll give it a try. And of course, like I said before, the recipe for the pesto is gonna be in my blog. The link is down below. And I'll also link the other recipes down below or I'll just write them out in the description box below as well. Check out the recipes and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.